What's up, all my money makers, my honey boo bears, my cousins, my cousins. We are finna give y'all what y'all been waiting for, the gender reveal. You ready? Ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Real quick, simple, easy. What y'all think? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He, he didn't know what I was gonna do. <laughs> and I'm thinking you're making cupcakes. <laughs> well, y'all got it. This is what we had. We have twins, you guys. Uh. And we will be back in this video, in the next clip, with a story time. Do that. <laughs> Cause you wasn't expecting it. <laughs> she wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it was good though. It was, it was good. It was and good. then you went put your good pants on. I told you not to put nothing fancy on. Huh? It's good though. Okay. You weren't ready. No, I wasn't ready. That's okay. I know. I know next time. <laughs> you said that last night. Don't be putting our business out there like that. Whatever. It's good. Mm -hmm. Y'all got it? Y'all okay. like it? Okay. This is what we have. Woo, I gotta go in. These mosquitoes ain't playing. Okay, we'll be back with a story time. All right, y'all. So, let me give y'all a bit of a story time because I know I've been gone a while and I feel like, you know, uh, some of you all are very loyal to me and deserve it. Um, and the rest of you, I really don't owe any of you anything, but to the ones that, you know, have been ride or die with me. So, last year, shortly after I found out I was pregnant, it was a lot going on in my life. And it was basically causing me a lot of stress. So, one day... I started hemorrhaging real bad, and I went to the emergency room, and, um, you know, I was having a miscarriage, and so they rushed me from one hospital to another hospital, so, of course, I'm freaking out and don't really know what's going on because they're really not saying all that much, but, you know, they were really nice about it. Um... So, by the time I got to the second hospital, I'm in there for a couple of hours, and they running tests and, you know, doing all that good stuff. So, finally, the doctor comes in, and he was like, well, the thing is, you were having twins, but you lost one. So, now, we were, you know, really not trying to find out the sex of the baby you know, until the delivery. That was the plan. But as the saying goes, you can plan a perfect picnic, but you can't predict the weather. So when that happened, then, you know, we um we later found out what the sex was before delivery. So the reason why we did pink and a blue it's because we, well, I had a dream. And in that dream of my dead cousin was holding a baby girl. And in that dream, it was like, you know, it was signifying that everything was going to be okay. I'm really 
trying to keep from breaking down on y'all because this still hurts me, you know, to this day to talk about. And I, I hardly ever talk about it. But it, the dream was just like it was letting me know that everything was going to be okay. And I felt that, you know, that was my baby that he was holding. And like I said, in the dream, it was a baby girl. Um, surviving, we have Gino. So we just found comfort in, you know, believing in my dream and that we had a boy girl pair, you know. And so this has really been kind of painful for me and is is very depressing like on that particular night when I had the dreams it was like a day that I literally just cried all day long and even though I was never formally introduced to the baby like I never really just met the baby I still lost a part of me and it still took a big toll on me And, um, I was crying so hard that day. And I, when I finally drifted to sleep, that was the dream that I had. And I felt like, you know, I was just being reassured that my baby was okay. And my baby was with, you know, uh, another loved one. So, um, I'm trying not to make this too long. So I was trying to check the time. So, um, in a nutshell, <clears throat> we were having twins, we lost one, and now we have a new baby boy to the add to the Stax family, and um, he is bad as hell, y'all. He is so precious, but he is bad as hell. So, we're going to do um, a sip and see, and tomorrow... Want y'all to get y'all drinks together. And we're gonna have a sip and see. And where I, you know, show y'all my little bundle of joy. And um on the day that I had the miscarriage, which is in a couple of months, would be the year anniversary of that. I'm gonna do like a little balloon release and I'm gonna include y'all in that too. So that'll be to come on that. And then, you know, eventually we'll have a couple of more other story times, you know, to go along with the whole journey of my pregnancy, if you call it. But just to give y'all a little backstory, I just wanted y'all to know what was going on and that was, if not the main reason why I just haven't, you know, just brought myself to um, get on here or to really just be around people. But here, I say over the, since I had him and more so since the last month, I've kind of been, you know, getting back into a peppy like spirit. I was, I've been on another app you know, and it's been just lifting me up out of the funk because it's a new environment, new people, new trends, just new everything. And so that has been the way that I've been coping. You know, when I finally downloaded that app, I immediately gained an addiction. So I will invite y'all over to that app tomorrow after we have the sip and see. And we're probably going to do the sip and see uh, around about seven but i will let y'all know at least an hour or two in advance on the community tab tomorrow and um then i can drop some more content on y'all that y'all are really gonna love and really gonna enjoy i'm gonna bring some stuff from the other app and share with y'all but it's just that um a hint my child is on the other app so i haven't been sharing that contact with this platform but i have been sharing it in other platforms so i will bring it over here tomorrow but i just held that from y'all because if i'd have told y'all where i'm at then y'all wouldn't been able to see the baby beforehand and i didn't want to spoil it so 
technically everybody that commented boy or girl was right but at the end of the day we have a baby boy that made it and is gracing us with his little badass presence so I hope that this was well worth the wait. I hope y'all enjoyed me smacking him upside the head with the cream pies. And um, y'all make sure y'all thumbs up this video. Make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come over here and subscribe to Money Stacks. Because I feel like, you know, I'm coming back around. I have to get me a new phone right now i'm on borrowed time so once i do that then i will definitely be back in effect because everybody getting tired of me logging in and out they stuff which i understand because i don't like people doing me like that either but hopefully by monday then i'll be back you know on my own gidget gadgets so until further ado I will see you all tomorrow at the Sip and See. Be sure to um, randomly check the community post throughout the day. I want to probably try to do it around this same time. Okay, well, by the time I load this, it's going to be a little later. So about between 5 and 7 my time, but I will let y'all know. So this is your girl Money Sex, and I'm signing out. Smooches. Peace.